what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Yadrissa and if you are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe today I'll be showing you how I got these rainbow blooming gel nail art French tips so if you want to see how I got that just keep on watching what I did start off doing was I painted each nail a different color I wanted this to be a colorful set so I started with that and I lost that clip of me painting that so we're just going to get right into the blooming gel the blooming gel that i am going to be using today is by mia secret and i did apply that to the tip of the nails and then i'm going in with my beetles gel polish in white and i have a liner brush that i'm going to be using dipping into the polish the white polish and i'm going to be creating the the, the crocodile design on the nail with the gel polish so when you're doing this um, as you can see I'm just creating lines and the blooming gel effect is it spreads the polish and it makes it into this cool design So make sure when you are doing your blooming gel, don't apply too much blooming gel because I did make a mistake of applying too much blooming gel and it just made a mess and it was actually like dripping off of the nail because I applied too much. So after I finished that nail, that first nail, I did go ahead and put it inside of my UV lamp and I just cut the clip to um, for time purposes. So this next nail is actually a kind of like a soft pink nail. So what I'm going to be doing is applying a darker shade gel polish to create my crocodile design. And as you can see here, I did take my Mia Secret Blooming Gel and that is what I'm applying all over the nail. Now I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm going to be applying that hot pink gel polish to my nail and I'm going to be creating my crocodile nails and as you can see I did leave a space between them because I didn't want the blooming gel to spread and the gel polish spread into the next line so I did leave a good gap in between to allow that blooming gel to spread without mixing it into the next line. This is a very easy design as you can see to do. It takes no time. And after I finish the design on each nail, I did put the nails inside of my UV gel lamp for about 60 seconds. But of course I didn't show that part. And I did skip to the part where um, I'm at the end of doing this nail because I wasn't in focus when I was doing this nail and you couldn't see me applying the gel polish, the dark blue, I'm sorry, the dark purple gel polish to this nail. So I'm just showing the ending where you can see clear and I did pop that in my UV lamp, that purple nail, and I did a cure it for 30, I'm sorry, 60 seconds so this is the last nail that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be using my Mia secret blooming gel applying that to the French tip of the nail and this is a soft blue kind of like a baby blue and I'm going to be taking my liner brush and I'm going to be creating my line using this dark brown excuse me I'm mixing up my colors today using this dark blue gel polish from Beatles I really like how this set came out it was really pretty and as you can see very very easy to do you don't have to have any type of drawing skills to create this nail art because the blooming gel does the work for you so the only thing that you're doing is creating your pattern 
and again after each nail I am going to pop the nail into the UV lamp and I'm going to be curing it for 60 seconds each nail after I finish and then I did apply a top coat on all over the nails after I finished creating my design just because I wanted it to be like the shiny effect oh excuse me so that wasn't the last nail this is actually the last nail that I'm creating and I'm putting that Mia secret bloomy gel over the French tip that I had created and now I'm taking this green and I'm applying that to my liner brush and I'm going to be creating like I did on the rest of the nails that crocodile print using this green gel polish and this polish is also by Beatles and the top coat that I used after I finished the nails was also by Beatles just a regular clear top coat because I wanted the you know the shiny effect to the nail if you have any questions or comments about this video or if you would like to put in a comment section another video you would like me to create make sure you put that down below and I'll be sure to answer any questions if you have any just message me in my comment section and also in the comment section let me know what you guys think of these nails in this video and don't forget to check out my other nail videos and other videos that I have created on my channel This is the finished product after I applied my top coat, my Beatles top coat. I think this set came out really pretty. This is the press-ons after I put it on my nails. It came out really, really pretty. I really love this set. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And connect with me on my other social media platforms. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.